Hi everyone! Welcome back to what Pagefly can do series. In these videos, I will use Pagefly to build Shopify pages based on famous websites to demonstrate capability of our app and the reason why Pagefly is number one Shopify page builder. In this video, I will guide you on how to build a complete product page in Pagefly. Today's website is Daniel Wellington. I will build this product page by using Pagefly. Before we begin we need to take a quick analysis of the Daniel Wellington product page. You can see that this is a simple clean page, yet fully detailed information like product image, pricing, size guy, shipping policy, payment option. It also has the related products that customer may like, and the section where customer can subscribe to update the information from the brand. Now let's start with the first section which is product details. We have a common one half layout here. On the left, there is product images. On the right, we have product details, which includes title, price, size guide, and others. To understand further how the design of this page is made, you can right click and select open inspector. Here you can find out about the font, the color swatch, and the spacing that Daniel Wellington uses. I inspected and found that this page used a Futura font, which is not supported in Pagefly. But, don't worry, you can upload your custom font in extra function. I uploaded it here, and you can easily find it in custom font in styling tab. Alright, now let's head to Pagefly and create a new product page. On Page Editor, click on Add Shopify Element on the left toolbar. Drag and drop product details element into the Page Editor. You can assign to the product you want in General tab on Product Source. Click on Custom and select the product you want to show. And save. Click on the section and turn off Set Fixed Width in General tab. As you can see, on the reference, the product title and product price are on the same line. So I will add a block here. Drag and drop product title and product price into it. Switch to Styling tab. Set Flex for Display Style and select space between for justify content. Now, you can adjust the style for the product title in styling tab. I will do a quick demo for you. For the product price, you can copy the style of product title and paste it here. To create the spacing with the variant, click on block and adjust the margin bottom here. Here is the product variant swatches that is available in Pagefly. You can enable it in extra function, then set up option swatches. We have a detailed video tutorial about this function. You can check it in the description box or the card showing on the top right of the screen. Here we are in option swatches setting. Click on add option swatch and select option which are color and size. For the color, I will choose color for display type and set up the color code here. For the size, I will choose label. Back to the page editor, the combine option should be turned off, and you should enable use option swatches. Scroll down and select radio button for option values display, and horizontal for option value layout. You can adjust the option value spacing here. All setup has been done. You can save and reload the page to check. And here it is. It's time to adjust the style for option value and option name. All done. Next element is product add to cart button. I will remove the product description, product quantity, and view details. Now click on add to cart button. I will enable full width in general tab and style for it. Here is the result. For the inventory status, you need to use third-party apps such as product stock status label. Next element is size guide pop-up. You just need to add a button below the add to cart button. Click on icon and choose the ruler icon in the icon library. And then change the icon position to the right you can customize the style for icon in styling tab. On the sample page, when click on size guide button, a pop-up will appear. You can completely achieve that by using click action. 
Back to Page Editor. Click on Button. On General tab, select Open Pop-up for click action. You can adjust the size of pop-up here. Then choose Image for pop-up content. I will use List Element, Parafrag Element, and Accordion for the next contents. On Page Editor, click on an Element, and drag and drop List Element, and Paragraph. Click on the List Element and remove the padding left on styling tab to make it similar to the sample page. And now you just need to add content and style for these text. After adjusting, here is the result. Next, I will add accordion into the page editor. You can add or remove the number of accordion header in general tab. For the accordion content, you can adjust the element here. For the first one, I will add a table element into it here is the general configuration of table. You can set the number of columns and row, etc. here. On Styling tab, you can customize its style. And here it is. For other accordion contents, you can easily create by using our image element, paragraph element. The last one in product description is similar collection. You can use a heading and paragraph and add click action. Go to URL for the collection. Hang in there. Almost done. Now, click on this column. Adjust padding and background color for it. All done to the first section. The second section is product list element. To show the product customers also may like, you can see on this page, there is a carousel here. This feature is not available in PageFly now, but I will show you an alternative way. I will add a heading first. Change the content and customize styling for it. Click at Shopify element icon in the left sidebar. I will drag and drop the product list element into the page editor. Go to the general tab. You can choose to show all products in your store or show products in a specific collection or related products. I will choose custom collection and add products like this. Adjust items per loading and items per row 2, 3. And scroll down a bit you can see the loading mode option here. I will choose pagination. With this feature, you can see other products by moving to the next page. Remember that this feature only works on LevView. And now to make the product list show like sample page, I will add product variant below the product title and delete the add to cart button. It's time for you to practice what I guided you before. You can enable option swatches and customize for each element. When done, click on each product details set padding, left alignment, and background color and styling tab. For the product price, I will delete the code display flex in advanced section at the bottom of styling tab. Now, click on the product media. You can add animation for it here. I will choose grow when mouse over on the media. As you can see, here is wishlist icon that allow customers start saving their favorites to wishlist for later viewing. To create that, you need to use third-party apps such as Wishlist Hero app. We have integrated with this app, so you can check the manual in the description box to know how to set up this app. The last section is Newsletter section. You will need to have a heading, paragraph, and a customer form element. On the page editor, I will add a heading first, then a paragraph, a customer form, and the last one is a paragraph again. Firstly, I will change all the content to make it similar to sample page. Let's style for all the text element, and here they are. Click on the section, I will adjust the padding. Set center for text alignment, and background color for it. For the customer form, I will adjust a bit more. Click on field input, I will set the padding top and bottom for it as 15 pixel. Scroll down to set background color and border for it. You can copy its style and paste in customer form button. For the paragraph below, I will add a hyperlink for privacy policy. Switch to general tab, find the privacy policy and add link into it like this. All done. Don't forget to switch to other devices to check responsiveness. As you can see, these texts are too big. You can adjust the font size for them. Click on this column and adjust the padding again. 
to buttons are showing incorrectly, click on them and remove some unnecessary code in spacing. You can do similar for these section below. And here is how it look. Now I will save and publish the page. Then you can check the page on the live view. And here is the result. This is the end of the video tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more new videos. Our friendly and knowledgeable team is available via live chat 24/7 to assist you with any issues you might encounter. Thanks for watching.